another witness of some cops taking the phones away from people. Um, and one person told me that they were at the Bayside Marketplace and, and again, these are their words, I, I'm, I kid you not. They told me that they saw a creature, I know it sounds ridiculous, seven feet tall walking around. I was like, this is insane. So, I, so I'm like, this person's crazy. I go and talk to another woman who's there in a state of actual panic and she tells me that she saw something out of a movie. She said it looked like Alien from the Alien film in the 1980s, I think she said it was. It, it's insane. So I get out my phone, right? Because I want to film this and I want to get these interviews for you guys because no one's going to believe what happened. And so I get out my phone and I start recording. The police come running over to me and they take my phone and make me delete the couple seconds that I recorded. And then they ushered me along. Obviously, this is Miami PD, the cops in America. I don't want to mess with them. They're not like the cops in England. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. So I delete the footage and I move along. Okay, so this is extraordinary. Why in the earth would they be taking people's phones? That's an extraordinary measure, don't you think? To actually confiscate people's phones so that they cannot share what they saw that is of a paranormal nature. Is this, you know, protecting some somebody's identity who's might be on the, you know, watch list for violence or, you know, or, you know, something like that? I mean, you know, is it protecting government secrets of some kind? I mean, what is happening here? Why? It doesn't make sense. Why would they do this? It's this extraordinary measure of all of these people. We now know that they, just because people were seeing something paranormal, the police have a pre-plan for this, apparently, according to uh, several witnesses. They, they knew what they were doing. They had a whole procedure for it, and they were Anyone who they, they saw that was coming out, they tried to stop. They, of course, they, they didn't get them all, but, and, and, they, and they couldn't stop even some of the security cam footage, like the one where they got the portal opening up. But uh, a lot of people had their phones confiscated, and they were erasing the data. They were saying, um, you know, either you erase the data, or they, or they put a, they, some guy, they said they had a machine that was erasing it. And, and, and uh, somebody else was saying they, that uh, not only do they have this technology, but they can do it from drones as well. They can erase the data on your phone, okay? So this is, this is extraordinary. Just, just think about the, now I don't care who you are or how far deep into this mystery you are, that is still a huge question. Why were they confiscating people's phones? Why didn't they want footage of this to get out? Save this video, post it on other platforms before it gets taken down. Because I want to clear up some of this misinformation about the Bayside Mall incident that happened. We look back and we noticed some weird shapes taller than me. I'm six foot two, shadowy, dark, solid shapes, not human. I promise you, these is not human. I mean, it made the hair stand up on my skin. Uh, and shit, we just booked it for the doors after that, man. I can't explain what that was. I can't say that was aliens, but I, I can say that sh that was not human. It was not human. And they, online, I don't know if they're trying to cover this stuff up, but they saying that it was uh, police officers and, and somebody, not shadowy figures. It's 2024, man. It, it's something going on. There's something going on, and they're trying to cover it up. A lot of people saw what I saw, and like I say, it was so much chaos ensued that it was it was just hard to to to, to let that sink in that we was realizing what what we looking at. I mean, it's something something you can never even create in your head in a dream. Um, I'm putting this out there, though, man, because I want people to know that this this stuff is real. Get get this out and spread this. And if you were a person that was there and you saw what I saw, please put this video out because they're trying to cover this stuff up, man. They don't want us to to tell the truth. And I got a good feeling this video will be taken down. So what? It's some paranormal stuff. What? Aliens? What? What? You know what? Interdimensional beings? Or what? So, so just, just, and, and, and another thing to consider about this, consider the power that's being exerted over our society for people to actually come in and, and be able to not only take people's phones and, and force them to erase the data or erase it with a machine or confiscate their phone altogether, but they also have a clampdown on the news. For what? 
Now think about this, okay? Now one one plausible explanation that comes up is, okay, maybe they didn't want society to panic, okay? So, oh no, everybody finds out there's aliens and then next thing you know, no one wants to show up for their job and there's a huge breach in the economy and everybody goes nuts and oh no, because of aliens or some sort of interdimensional beings or whatever and everybody finds out about it, oh my god! But we've been watching Star Wars and Aliens and the thing with demons ripping out of the flesh and going. Aah. Okay, so it's not like the concept is is so far beyond that people would just totally lose it and real you know think that they're not gonna you know maintain what they're doing in society to keep society together. I mean, they gotta feed their kids, right? So it, just think about that and, and the fact that there's, a, there, there's, there's nothing in the news about it. Where was the news? There was no news about it. There was news about the, the uh, cops' cars showing up and then just a few little discredited notes. Oh, yeah, some crazy people are saying something, but they don't, even, they don't even mention it. Okay, look, just think about that. They don't want any mention of it. So even in the, in the news articles where they might even be slightly discrediting it, like saying, oh, it was just some kids, you know, getting into a fight with firecrackers and stuff like that. And, you know, that's, that was the whole thing. You know, it was cops shooting at these things. This guy said he, they were shooting over his head. They were firing bullets at it. Okay, so, um, but... And there's too many witnesses now. We know something happened. But it, here's the interesting thing also is, you know, I mean, like I said, I, I was talking to some people in public. They never, they didn't even hear about it, okay? So so a lot of people, even even probably a lot of people even right there who live next to that Bayside Mall in Miami, they didn't, they didn't know anything about it. All they just know there's a big police response. And then, you know, somebody said, oh, yeah, some teenagers fighting and a, a riot broke out or something like that. But just just and 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 if if you think about the weirdness of it why don't they want the public to know i mean they're even congress even you know they released some you know little bit of footage about the tic tac toe ufo you know tic tac uh, ufo whatever and uh, you know congress is pushing pushing for disclosure or whatever but they can't have the public seeing footage of shadow beings or whatever it was there in the mall that looks like it came through a dimension that that uh, graffiti artist was saying that you know he's drawing this or he said he saw the whole thing and then there was the the cct footage of that portal opening up those that kid and that kid wearing the the diclonian glasses or whatever that they how you pronounce that diclonian glasses they even have them for sale on ebay and you could see he was looking to see um, where these entities were when he when he set up the machine, we did the, the box is, isn't shown in that footage, but the portal is. You see, go woo woo, it's opening up just like the thing in uh, in the Marvel movies, okay? In the Marvel Avenger, you know, superhero movies, um, it, it looked pretty much just like that. So, uh, so just but just think about that, and and, and you know, so if. Let's, so it's really not, you know, if you think about it, well, it's not really to protect society because if they were really interested in protecting us or pre keeping society together, they're not going to, you know, if, if, if normal people, regular, regular people were in charge of the news, would they hide the fact that something this monumental happened, right? Think about it. People would tell people. They would want other people to know. You see, don't you see, the government that's in control of our society, they're not like us. There's something weird. There is something wrong. There is something big and scary. Okay, so you say, so, well, we, you know, but, 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 you know, and most people don't want to, unless they, unless they, they themselves have been exposed to something dark, they don't want to see it. They don't want to look at it as you don't, you know, unless they, unless you've been, unless you, your eyes have been open to it, unless you're especially brave, unless you're interested in paranormal topics, unless you've, you know, you know that there's, you know, just the most crazy stuff happening that seems like it's from a movie, but in fact, it's reality is really going on now. Just, just with that thought in mind, like what, what could it be? You know, why, why would they do this? You know, why would they? And and then keep in mind the other uh, things that they keep a clamp on, right? Bigfoot, we know that people, you know, they see it all the time, and and but they, it's the same thing. They they take people's footage. They tell them to shut up. You you don't talk about this. Uh, you, if you didn't know about that, just just check it out. You know, anybody who comes out with it, because they can't stop every single person now with a phone from posting on social media something on, that they see in the sky. You know, UFOs, Bigfoot, or whatever. But you don't see any mention of it in the news. You'll you know, and except to discredit it, or unless it's a like a pre-approved story, like the Tic Tac story. And you say, well, why? you know, that doesn't make sense. That's not us. That's not the people sharing news with the people. There's something else. There's something else in control. 
because I've been following the UFO thing, okay? And for, for, for many years, I used to just casually, cause I, I, I would see the footage on YouTube and go, this is not, um, you know, some guy in his basement with a hubcap and a string, okay? I knew, you can tell by looking at it, that there's something happening here. So I just kept watching it and thinking about it and watching the various talks about UFO disclosure and aliens and, you know, supposed uh, abduction witnesses and people who've even been taken off, you know, to other planets and his whole experiences. And but then I thought about it, like, but in, and the whole Roswell thing, you know, of course, everybody's familiar with that, you know, right? First, they they reported in the news that it was a down saucer, but then quickly came out with a story. Oh, no, it's just a weather balloon, blah, blah, blah. You know, so, so it's that same thing, covering up, covering up, covering it up. Now, again, you, you look at that and you say, well, OK, now the other thing is that, OK, we need to protect our our alien tech or whatever that we've got from these beings, whatever they are. And uh, because we don't want our enemies, you know, Russia and China or, you know, wh whatever, you know, threat it is that, you know, other countries, they, they so so the best thing to do is to keep a clamp down on all information that's regards to, to UFOs. But still, it doesn't, it just in no way, shape or form makes sense that people would keep from other people this startling reality of, of whatever, you know, this, whatever these things are these craft, these beings or whatever. Okay. And, and then for the government policy to still be that unto this day, they don't deny it, but they won't confirm it. And they won't address anything about it that you bring to it. And they actively suppress it. Okay. So anybody talks about this, you've heard about the men in black. Well, they made a, you know, fun, happy, fun uh, show about it. But if you get visited by the men in black, you won't be laughing. Okay. The real men in black, Okay, because the, 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 the movie's based on that. And these are, are some scary dudes. And uh, uh, Jimmy Payne, that's just, that's just his alias, but he, he says that he worked as a, as a Men in Black, okay? And he's, he's, he's not coming on and telling everything that, that they do. But they threaten people. I know, from, I know somebody personally that I talk with that they were uh, threatened and, uh, you know, told that, uh, you know, the, and, and, and uh, things were coming against them, like animals attacking them and stuff, that, were, that they can pre-program animals to attack people and stuff. And uh, so, and you, and they, and, I thought about it and I said, you know, this, it, it, it doesn't even make sense from, from a, uh, how, how well it's been done to keep a, a lid on the whole UFO thing. Okay. It doesn't make sense. Like, how could they do it? And the only way, the, the, the only thing that makes sense to me is that it was some, some non-human force itself that was keeping knowledge of other non-humans from us. So I was thinking that it was the aliens themselves, some, some ones that are already here that have some sort of, you know, they, they have an agenda, which they don't want humans to know, like, why wouldn't this be? But then in 2013, as people who watch my channel know, I uploaded my first report of something that I saw on YouTube talking about reptilian shape-shifting, which I thought was lunacy at first, but I took apart the footage and lo and behold, it was definitely something real you know when you see beast features if it's not just a glitch or you know refresh rate error or compression error or something else but you actually see beast features claws fangs reptilian tiles slit eyes that were not just from a light on either side but it's really a, a solid dark bar that that has no reflection in it and it's really weird it's like a, it's like a pitch black like it's some sort of interdimensional thing where the somehow the beast eyes show up and then the the features of claws fangs um you know weird you know huge features huge mouths with big jaggy teeth in it i've caught all this stuff okay and you can check it out at my channel i mean there's you know i i'm i'm waiting for somebody to take and and really give me a solid disproving of any shape shift that i've shown but I can tell you that when I first my, I uploaded my first report, I didn't get anything that I noticed. It was just a 10 minute clip showing some odd anomalies on, uh, on uh, a news show that I happened to notice. And I just whipped out my video camera and shot my TV with it. Cause I'm like looking at this going, what? And then I, I just uploaded a quick 10 minute thing about that. But then uh, I saw this 
channel called Frequency Fence. I saw that um, this is the first uh, reptilian shape-shifting channel that made sense to me. And uh, he did a report on the Matrix. I did a follow-up report because I saw that. I decided to go out and get the Blu-ray and really do an in-depth study on it. And whoa, I was blown away. But when I uploaded my first 15-minute report on this, a silent movie just with text and arrows showing the, the non-human features that I was seeing in this, within 15 minutes, I had helicopters buzzing around my place. No bullshit. Uh, I mean, like, but and I thought it was a, I didn't even know it was for me. I, was, I thought it was a drug bust, you know, but I, I found out I, in the following days, it sure as heck was, because I had helicopters, you know, doing this, it was like a tried to intimidate me. And it's been going on for 11 years now unto this day. It's called targeting or gang stalking or organized stalking, okay? And um, if you look at this up, uh, targeting, targeted individual, gang stalking, you will see this is a real phenomenon. I had heard about it peripherally when I was kind of just looking into paranormal stuff, people talking about targeted individuals, targeting, whatever. And then I found out when it happened to me for uploading these reptilian shapeshifter movies, okay? And then I was cued into something that somebody said out of the scripture, which is that God says to the serpent uh, for his uh, sin of, of, of getting Eve to... Um, do something that was a sin, eating from the tree of, of uh, the knowledge of good and evil. Okay, now I know if, if you're not into this, you you know you you'd be skeptical. But I'm telling you, this stuff is real. I've investigated it, and this I mean it's it's there are no lies in it in the scripture. That's what I'm going to tell you. Psalm 12:6 will tell you the words of the Lord are pure words. If you can make a planet, you can write a book. It says in there that when this. Uh, um, when the, the serpent did this, okay, and, and notice he had, a, had to have a conversation with Eve, right? So she didn't freak out when she saw whatever this reptilian being was that is called a serpent in the scripture. So people think it's a snake because God says, um, because you've done this, um, uh, dust shall you eat and on your belly you shall go. That means a snake on the ground. No, it was a bipedal lizard man that could talk, and not only could he talk, he could speak the same language as Eve, and not only that, but he must have they must have talked before. Because when the serpent walks up to Eve and tell and, and starts talking to her about this tree, she doesn't freak out and run. She casually answers, Yeah, God told us we can't eat from the tree. And then the serpent, you know, beguiles her, saying, Yeah, well don't you don't you see it's a good idea, even though God says that, oh, it's not true. Just eat from it, you'll love it. Okay, I'm I'm paraphrasing, right? But um but then God the, the, the point I'm getting to is that is that God says to the serpent, Because you have done this, you will be cursed above all the beasts of the field. So apparently there's other sentient beasts, and you can see that also in the scripture, Jeremiah thirty one twenty seven. Uh, it, it says, uh, it, which tells us that there are other beasts and that uh, beasts uh, will also become Christians, believing Christians that will be part of the family of God and they will be saved. Yeah, this that's where it really gets weird. But back then, God says to the serpent, um, dust shall you eat all the days of your life and on your belly you shall go. It doesn't mean a snake. Dust, remember, Adam was made of the dust. Okay, so my theory about this is is that the reason why they're taking people's phones, okay, from these these uh, Miami uh, mall aliens witnesses, okay, and they asked everybody to check their phones. Not everybody, because there was mad people like running away too, right? They couldn't get everyone. Um, so I'm wondering if someone's gonna post a video. Um, but yeah, they 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 looked through everyone's phone. I didn't record anything, so I was fine. None of us recorded anything, so we were basically free to go. And then they stand at the door. People walk through. They ask for their phones. They give them their phones. They give them back, and then they're allowed to walk out. Is because the people at the top are not really people. They're serpents. The same ones. The very same ones from the Garden of Eden. Okay, and the reason they don't want people sharing and you know waking the general population up to a real belief that we've got non-humans okay this is illegal it's anti-american it's anti-free speech it's this is not what we're paying our police and our government for to hide the truth from us okay but they are because they they've been taken over they've been whatever it is they these people that guy was the uh, that one uh, guy was saying that his uh, dad was running for sheriff there and in in in, um, in Miami and uh, he's and and he's, you hear him talk about it. He says, "I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. Why? Because he'll lose his job. He's under control. They have to follow orders, even if it goes against 
our constitution, which says that we have a right to know information. That's not, you know, some sort of direct military secret or something. It's something as big as some kind of non-human entities, okay, entering our dimension or whatever. People have footage of it. There's witnesses of it. It's illegal for them to do what they're doing. You know, some guy was saying that th these police, um, they can't take your property. So these people could have refused to give them their phone. Now, I'm not saying, you know, in that situation, these people are scared or whatever like that. I would have used my video camera, which doesn't have, you know, uh, something where they can maybe, use, I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know if they, maybe they could, I seem like a phone has, you know, they had a computer and everything that can be centrally controlled. They could, you know, turn off people's phone when, when everybody pays with their phone. If you misbehave, you know, if you do something like, like I did, upload reptilian shapeshifter movies, which the authorities that be, which I say are these non-humans, these reptilians, uh, they can uh, shut off your shut off everything and you and you and you're, you're totally screwed but um it's all wrapped up in this thing with with the lord with god controlling everything but um again it's how how can it be legal for them to take your property and tell you that you can't share with the public something that you saw in a public shopping mall of these non-humans with these go these giant you know tall uh, you know phasing in and out um, beings there I, I, my theory is they weren't holograms or they weren't like um, you know like spiritual beings they were physical spiritual beings actually are physical it's just that they're in a different dimension a different phase of matter and, and the reason those creatures were glitching is because they're not designed to be in our dimension so they I, they, they either have to be converted or you have to be made to to be in that dimension because I think when you die your spirit is in that when your spirit leaves your body it's in that phase of matter but uh you know even so bottom line to it is this is still america we still have free speech and just just think about what how this doesn't match what our constitution says this is illegal for them to keep this information from the public okay people saw it they have a right to share what they saw you know they can't stop everybody from talking about it and they haven't been able to and they and they're, the news won't report anything on it it is just it's just so weird that you say to yourself well you know how can this be this isn't america um so i my, my suggestion what i think it is and, and same thing for the giants they cover up any uh if somebody discovers giant bones they they take them out of the museum and they hide it and you're not allowed to talk about it and they and they threaten them and whatever the men in black come and they do a threat most people absolutely most people will freak out um especially when they see some of this paranormal stuff that they can do and they just realize oh got to keep your mouth shut about it and i think the only people that can really are really truly brave and can continue are people that have the protection of the Lord because you are righteous with God. You've made a friend of God, okay? That's the reason I've been able to continue is that I'm a friend of the Lord. But the thing is, uh, even just factually on this thing about the, the, the secrecy, taking people's phones, it's illegal, okay? They can't keep this information. What they're doing is wrong. We have got to stop that that's going on. The people have to rise up and stop this this clamp down society we have to first realize that we're under control okay they can control the police that guy can't talk about it he knows that he is screwed he will he will lose his job he will lose his standing and everything why because these non-humans these reptilians that eat people and they're highly evil as well and uh and 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 they 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 don't want you to question all the the people that go missing in the parks they don't want to question all the people that go missing they don't want to want you to question all the people that are dying because guess what it's food for them okay they're cursed above all the beasts of the field they need to eat humans okay do you understand i'm telling you this so you i mean you know but but the the lord has made this whole situation and basically if if you decide that you know hey I, I, you know, God isn't for me. I don't want to. I don't want to do anything about my Creator. I don't want to come to Him through His one and only method, Jesus Christ. Well, guess what, friends? You're going to be food for these things. I'm telling you straight up. You're going to be food for these reptilians. They eat people. This is what Peggy Kane was saying that no one talks about because it's just so horrendous. It's so scary. She says they have restaurants on Mars. Check out Peggy Kane. Restaurants on Mars where they serve human meat. Okay. It's all going on behind our backs. They're lying to us about everything. They're keeping us in the dark and feeding us bullshit like mushrooms, okay? But the only way you're going to wake up to this is if you're courageous and in the protection of the Lord, which means making a friend out of God, which means 
accepting the work of Jesus on of Christ on the cross for your sin. That's it's very simple, guys. Say this prayer now if you want to be saved. Father in heaven, please save my soul by the work of your son Jesus on the cross and show me your pure words in the authorized King James Bible. 